Alright, this is Metal Mario, and it's my absolute favorite stage in this game, the Crystal Canyon. It's based off the stage from, uh, it's based off the area from Super Mario 64, if you didn't know, which is one of my favorite parts of the game. And I just love how they make, like, I just loved how they made, like, an entire Super Mario 64 themed stage because of it. And Metal Mario is really tough. He takes a lot of hits, and he doesn't fly very far because he's metal, and he hits really hard. Also, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no other metal, uh, bosses in this game. It's just Mario. As I do manage to KO him very easily there. Wow. That was quick. Alright. Now, Race to the Finish is, is just like in, it's just like in Melee, honestly. It's an indoor stage, but it's also different. You, there are these polygons you need to fight. They try to stop you from finishing it. And you gotta go, uh, down. You gotta, like, keep going down levels and whatnot, things like that. Now, polygons are like the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, what were they called in Melee? Um, po they weren't called polygons, they were holograms or something like that, I forgot what they were called. And, like, in Melee, and, like, in Brawl, they have those other things. Polygons are like those for this game. They're just, like, the original sprites of the characters, except they're dyed purple. And you have to fight 30 of them in this part. And this is the battlefield in this game. It's the same background, it doesn't really change, it's like a still picture kind of ghetto when you think about it. <laughs> Alright. Let me just get this max tomato, even though I don't need it. Alright, go Pokemon! Who is it? I don't even know that thing's name. I never really played Pokemon. My childhood was mostly Mario, honestly. And I was blessed to have such a childhood. Oh no! Oh god, Snorlax. Oh god! Ooh, grenade. Or a bomb bomb. Or whatever you want to call it. hey -ya! There we go. Ow! Stop hitting me with your yo-yo, you little nutcase. Oh yeah, and the polygons can hit each other in this game. Can they do that in the other Smash Brothers games? I have no idea. Alright, only three more. Come on. Another maximum tomato. <laughs> Hell yes. Alright. And now to fight the ultimate, the final boss master hand. The god of the Smash Brothers universe. Alright, Master Hand doesn't stay in one part of the stage like he does in Melee and in Brawl. He goes to wherever you are. You would think this would be a good thing, but it's honestly not. It gets His, his moves get a little confusing. Oh, and yes, this is also the final destination of this game. It's, it's pretty good. I mean, the backgrounds change in this one, too. It's obviously not as good as the other ones, but, you know. Ow. Almost got him. Ow. Stop hitting me! Alright, almo right, I'm almost done. Almost done. Just got a shield here. And boom. Got him. Alright. So, yeah. I'm going to be doing this with the other characters. And that will be the consistency of this Let's Play. 
So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this first episode of Super Smash Brothers, and I hope to see you again in my next one. See you later.